boys and girls. It is Monday, May 18th, and can you believe it? This is our last chapel for the year. I know the time has just flown by so quickly. We are so sad that we're not together and we miss your smiles and we miss your hugs, but we're so thankful that you are home safe and sound with your parents. And we hope you are having just the best time at home with your moms and dads and brothers and sisters or whoever you're with. And we hope that you're learning a lot. Would you bow your heads and say a prayer with me? Oh God, thank you so much for everything that you've given us. You have blessed us so much. You have kept us safe and you've kept us healthy and you make us so happy. God, we love you and we ask you to watch over us and to keep us safe and to watch over our mommies and daddies and our brothers and sisters and grandparents and aunts and uncles. Just watch over everybody and help to keep them healthy and to keep them safe. We love you and we're so excited to worship you today, to listen to Miss Dykes and to hear some songs. God, we love you, amen. One of my favorite songs growing up and still one of my favorite songs to do um, in music class with you guys is I'm in the Lord's Army. So if you remember these movements, why don't you stand up and do it with me? and I have been sitting here talking about um, in Luke chapter 19 about the time that Jesus was riding on a donkey. You think that would be fun to ride on a donkey? And in this story, as they were, as Jesus was riding on, in the donkey, people were taking off their, their coats and they were laying them down for the donkey to walk across so Jesus would have a very special path. They wanted to treat him like a king. And do you know what the people were saying when they were walking by? Travis, what were they saying? They were saying, Hosanna. Hosanna to the king of kings. They were praising Jesus. And then some people called the Pharisees. They said, Jesus, tell those people to stop praising you like that. And do you know what Jesus said? What did he say? Jesus said, if the people don't praise me, the rocks will cry out. Wow. Diggs, Pastor Travis, can you imagine that? Are the rocks singing praises to the Lord? That would be something. 
That would really be something. But Jesus is so special that it's true. If the people didn't praise him, all of nature would cry out and sing praise to Jesus. And actually, nature does praise the Lord. When we get up and see a beautiful sunrise, we can think about how beautiful God is. And when we see the sun set each night, we can think about God's love for us. When we see the beautiful trees and lakes and oceans, we're just reminded of how much God loves us and how much God has given to us. So there's lots of ways that we can praise the Lord. To praise the Lord means we acknowledge how great he is and how much we love him. And one way to praise him is to sing. Diggs, you know what, boys and girls, Diggs loves to dig into God's word, and we're going to dig into God's word together. We're going to look at Psalms 66, verses 1 and 2. Let's look at them. Will you look at them with me? Let's look at the Bible. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name. Pastor Travis, do you like to sing the honor of God's name? I love it. I love it, too. Boys and girls, do you love it? Diggs loves it. Boys and girls, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to check Diggs' heart. Pastor Travis, will you help me check Diggs' heart? I would love to. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you're upside down. He doesn't mind. Oh, good. He likes when we check his heart. It's very, it makes him happy. Boys and girls, you can check Diggs' heart, too. You should have gotten something in the mail. Now's your chance. Did you get a heart like that? Let's see what's in it. There's Diggs put his paw print on the heart for you. Can you show them his paw print? Look, his paw print's on there. Let's check and see what's inside. Diggs is so excited. What is it, Diggs? Oh, look at this. It's a kazoo. Uh, Diggs, are you going to play some music for Jesus on your kazoo? Boys and girls, did you get a kazoo too? Let me tell you a little something about how to play your kazoo. If you blow on it like this, it doesn't make any sound. So it doesn't work like a horn. You want to hum on it. You're going to do like this. Hmm. But you're going to put your kazoo right at the end of your mouth and then hum like this. Watch. Hmm. Doesn't that make a fun sound? Don't you love that sound? So when we sing some songs today, you can sing with your voice. You can clap with your hands or you can play along on your kazoo. All right. Should we try it? We should. What song should we sing? What about Jesus loves the little children? You know what? That's a favorite of a lot of the people at the school I work with. That's Mrs. Cox's favorite. Oh, wow. Let's sing it. Yeah, for Miss Cox. All right. favorite songs as a kid to sing in church was the B-I-B-L-E. And we have done this in music a little bit this year, so um, I hope you can join me while we're singing it. And uh, I am going to do the second verse that we learned in music, so good luck. Here we go. The B -I -B -L -E. people what their favorite songs are because we just love praising the Lord and we love hearing how everybody else likes to do it too. So I asked my pastor, Pastor Will from Great Bridge Baptist Church, and his favorite song was, are you ready? 
Zacchaeus. Oh, I love Zacchaeus. I love Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was... He was a wee little man. He was a wee little man. That means he was short. And when all the crowd got together to see Jesus, he was too short and he couldn't see. So boys and girls, what did he do? He climbed up in a tree so he could see the Lord. I love that song. And it's funny because Pastor Will's been doing some climbing lately too. <laughs> I'm glad he likes that song. Let's sing it together. Let's sing it. Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in said, Zacchaeus, you come down, because I'm going to your house today, because I'm going to your house today. A sinful heart was suddenly changed when Jesus the Lord passed by. He wants to change your sinful heart too, and the truth you cannot deny. If you desire to see the Lord, the Bible tells us the way. For it says, believe Christ died for you, and he'll come to your heart today. Boys and girls, I have a Bible verse I want to read for you. These are the words of Jesus. When five sparrows are sold, they cost only two pennies. But God does not forget any of them. Yes, God even knows how many hairs are on your head. Don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 6 and 7. This verse teaches us that God knows about all of the creatures in the world, looks after them, and he cares for them. And I want you to know that you are God's most special and most important creatures. And if he looks out for the smallest creatures in the world, how much more do you think that he looks out for and cares for you? And that's what this next song is about. It's called His Eyes on the Sparrow. I and I hope song. you like it. Let's, let's sing it together. Let not your heart be troubled, his tender word I hear, and resting on his goodness, I lose my doubt and fear. Oh, by the path he leads me, but one step I may see, his eye is on tempted to do something bad, Jesus is still looking for you then. Still looking out for you. That's what this next verse is about. Whenever I am tempted, whenever dark clouds rise, when songs give way to sighing, when hope within me dies, I draw the And I think everybody knows this one. What do you think it is? Jesus loves me. Do you guys want to sing it? All right, let's sing. Let's sing. Jesus loves me. 
Yes, I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Thanks, Pastor Travis. We wanna